the BMS is still not coming on. Oh, does the B minus have to be connected? I bet you that's it, you know? Okay, let's try this again. No, it's still not coming on. In the last video, some very clever and observant viewers noticed that I turned off the breaker and didn't turn it back on when I was trying to get this thing to boot with only four of the cables connected. So this is going to be a relatively quick video where I'm going to repeat the test and see whether, to at least some degree, do I owe JK an apology. The main thing I'm going to do here is reassemble the battery, make sure that I've got the right voltage with the last four batteries disconnected, and 25 volts on the last pin. And we'll see if she boots up. As before, I'm not worried about making these cables look nice. This is an incredibly temporary configuration. As last time, I'm going to have a common ground between the eye charger, the battery, and the BMS. And I should like to mention, even if this works, I'm still annoyed at JK for using the same model numbers for BMSs with rather dramatically different feature sets. If a product does different things, it should have different model numbers. And that is a hill I will die on. You know, in the last video, if I had measured this before I tried connecting it, I would have avoided this mistake. The moral of this story is, boys, girls, and others, ch test and check every time. As soon as you assume something, you end up looking like an idiot on YouTube. I'm really impressed the battery hasn't died in this. And I'm saying that because now I expect the batteries to die. I'm going to pull you in closer so you can see the voltage. Hopefully you can see that. I can't see if you can see it from here. Ground to balance lead one is three volts. Six, nine, 13, and nothing on anything. Well, point 0.1 volt. That's weird. All right. So, and the last one is currently zero volts. So now I should be able to turn on the eye charger. Is this plugged in? Oh, it would help if it was plugged in. Oh, I heard the power supply capacitors charge up. I remember how to turn this into a power supply. Power, it remembers 25.6 volts from last time. I don't know if you can see this. I'm sorry if you can't. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so this breaker is off. Open the breaker. Now I should be able to see 25.6 volts between ground and the last pin. Voltages are right this time. Let's try plugging it in and see what happens. Okay, no smoke. PMS booted up. <laughs> All right, so I owe JK BMS a bit of an apology. Again, a limited one. I should back it up. Okay, I owe JK BMS a bit of an apology. Again, I'm not going to give them a full apology because this is the exact same model number as versions that support for us natively. And the fact that I have to use a separate power supply to step that last B plus up to 20 volts, I still consider to be uh, unacceptable. I, it, it, if you have a part number that you're shipping out, especially if you're shipping a part to a YouTuber like Andy, who you know is going to get a lot of attention and lead other people to buy it, as I did. The excuse that, oh, you should have bought from the Hanksor store, that doesn't fly. Don't use the same model number if you're going to change the feature set that dramatically. That was really bad timing. Don't sit there and say that, oh, well, you should have bought from the Hanksor store. If you're going to use the same model number, keep the same feature set. One of the messages I got was, oh, well, if it had the H suffix for the heater, that would have been 4S and 8S. How does that relate to the fact that this doesn't support 4S? Again, change the part number. But that said, I fully accept the fact that I completely dumbassed on this, turned off the breaker, didn't turn it back on, and it does work in a 4S configuration with an external power supply. So if you had a little buck um, or boost converter that could take the voltage and step it up to, I'm guessing it's probably 20 volt. I'm not going to sit here and do an exhaustive test, but 25 volt is what I've got here and it works. I've already got the replacements on order. And again, I wouldn't do this in the boat anyway. Here you go. I made a mistake and... <laughs> Thank you for the people who caught it and called me out on it. I'm the Digital Mermaid. I'm going to get ready to start building the battery because I have bus bars and I have switches and I have cable and I have ring terminals. I have everything I need to start building.
Oh, Maddie. Past Maddie. Don't forget the breaker next time. Don't be an idiot on YouTube where everybody can see.